upon your side a square pyramid base 30 mm and axis length 50 mm is resting on hp with one of its slant edge on hp such that axis is parallel to bp draw its projection let's draw the xy line this is a reference line here is given square pyramid on hp resting on hp therefore we draw the top view first let's start the first point a is given slant edge on hp slant edge has got only two points we need to have one base point and one vertex so therefore we have to position the square pyramid in corner position so corner position goes like this we need to draw a 45 degree line here i just draw a 45 degree line through the given base point we take the base side required base side the base side is given as 30 mm so we take a 30 mm base side 10 20 30 so we need to duplicate the square in this particular shape so we have got one side so this has to be duplicated in all the other side as well i mean the right side right side and the same thing in the bottom side also so what do we do we take the complete measurement here we just take this measurement and we put it at the bottom similarly we take the particular distance in the top and we put it at the right side so we are able to get the square in corner position square in corner position square in corner position simply means the line joining the line joining corner and the center of the plane must be parallel to x y suppose we take this center and this corner we try to connect it by a line that particular line must be strictly parallel to x y line line joining corner and the center of the plane must be parallel to x y so that's the prerequisite for a corner position so we connect the square pyramid we get the top view of the square pyramid like this square is a polygon with all sides equal a square is a polygon with all four sides equal and all angle equal we should not violate this at any cost so here is a square with all four sides equal and all angle 90 degree all include angle 90 degree we have the center of the plane and the one corner and we connect this it is strictly parallel to x y line that is the actual corner position so when we keep like this there is a possibility that a come separately and c come separately so we get one corner separately so when we project this you will be able to get the next view because the solid is resting on hp we draw the top view first if the solid is resting on vp then we need to draw the front view first 
Here the solid is resting with one of its land edge. If it is resting on the ground with one of its triangular faces, then this position will not be applicable. We need to draw it in the side position. Now we have A, the corresponding point is A dash. Here we have B dash. Then we have C dash. Again we have D dash which is invisible. Then we take the axis height. Axis height is given as 50 mm. So we take that axis height 50 mm. So axis height 50 mm. We mark that 50 here. So we just take the 50, we just draw a horizontal line. So this, so then we can just mark the 50 here. So just introduce two arrow heads the ends and it can be written as 50. 50 is the axis height. Here we have base. And the base also has to be given dimension. So here is the base. We have base. So this base is 30 mm. So this particular side is 30 mm. So we can connect the points on the front view. Now that we can first connect O and C. O and C, then we can connect O and A, O and A can be connected, then we can connect this base, then we can join this as well, so this is there. Now this is the initial position. Initial position is very crucial. When the initial position is wrong, we will never get the second position in the correct stage. So therefore, we take utmost care in completing the initial position. Now we go to the second stage. It is given a slant edge is a slant edge is on HP. So we take any one of the slant edge here, maybe OC. This is one slant edge or OA. This slant edge. So we take it and we place it on the ground. So here is one slant edge completely on the ground. So we mark like this. This is this point is O1 dash and this point is A1 dash. Now we need to replace, reproduce this at this particular position. So therefore what we do, we try to make an arc through this, try to make an arc, we take this measurement, we take this measurement and we with a cut this, so we will be able to get the extreme point that is C dash, C1 dash. Similarly, we can get the B dash, D dash also. We can first join this. We join C dash and the A dash. 
with a line. Then we can join this O dash and C dash. Join this O dash and C dash. Again, we can join. It's already a dark line. So we need to join. This is O dash and A dash. O dash and A dash. Strictly horizontal. So we can make it dark. We can make it dark. O dash C dash is strictly a horizontal line. Horizontal line, we can make it dark and we can locate B dash, D dash also. Let us say this is one point, we take this distance and we from here if we place it, we will be able to get D, B1 dash and D1 dash. So this is B1 dash within bracket T1 dash. So we join this point with the vertex so that we get the edges like this so we join this this to so now this is the complete front view final front view for the problem given so we have the slant edge now completely on the ground Slant edge OA is completely on the ground. That means O dash A dash is on XY line. If a point is on HP, its front view is on XY line. If a line is on HP, its front view is completely on XY line. Here slant edge OA is on HP, therefore O dash A dash is on XY line. Now we project to get the final top view. So we draw one line through this. We draw another line through this. We draw one more line through C and we draw a line through O. Similarly, you now we can connect lines through these corners also. So this is the first line goes up to this. The second line, second line goes up to this, and the third line goes up to this. So now that we have A horizontal and A vertical gives A1 here, B horizontal and B vertical gives B1 here, C horizontal and C vertical gives C1 here, D vertical and D horizontal gives D1 here, we have O vertical and O horizontal, so this is point O, we get O1. Now, to see the visibility of the object, we normally apply one rule. We, to see the visibility of the top view, we go to the front view. We assume one arrow mark downward. We identify the left extreme corner. We introduce one horizontal line. Identify the right extreme corner. We introduce another horizontal line. But fortunately, there is x, y line. So, whatever is above these two lines is completely visible. Here we have everything visible except OA. OA is invisible. OA is invisible. Except OA, everything is visible. So how do we start? We start with the geometry skeleton. A to be connected with B, B to be connected with C, C to be connected with D. Then once again D to go with A. We have common point O. So we have OA, OB, OC, OD. A. Now first we draw the outer edges dark. Outer edges are always dark invariably whether they are in the visible zone or not. So we have AD. AD is an outer edge. AB. AB is an outer edge. AB is an outer edge. BC is not an outer edge. So we have OB. OB, no doubt, it's also outer edge only. OB, OB is also an outer edge. Similarly, we have OD, OD is also an outer edge. 
OD. OD is also outer edge. We know everything is visible except OA. So only OA alone is dotted. We have ABCD which is completely visible. So we can say BC also visible. BC is dark. Then CD. CD is also visible. OC. OC is also visible. OC is also visible. So OC is dark only. OC is also a dark line only. So we draw OC with a dark line. It's again a dark line. So we have OB dark. Except OA, everything is dark. So here is OA, but already you have a dark line till C. So therefore, the remaining line alone you need to make small dotted lines. This dotted lines represent OA anyway. From here, this is dark. So therefore, only these small portions need to be made dotted. We check, we erase all these unwanted hints. So these are all for our reference. It should be kept there. So we erase it. This also needs to be erased. How do we find the visibility of the object? We go to the top front view. Go top. We assume one arrow head. We go to the left extreme corner. And assume one horizontal line. Right extreme corner. We go assume another horizontal line. Whatever is within this region is invisible. Here in this particular problem, everything except OA is within this, they fall within this region. So therefore, only OA needs to be made dotted. That too, OC is dark, so we leave only this small portion dotted. We just go through the, you know, the best part of it is, we have to match our front view and our top view with the question given. We have drawn square pyramid. At times we may forget and we may draw a pentagonal pyramid. So what we have drawn is a square pyramid. Yes, we matched. And it is given 30 mm base side. Yes, we measure it is 30 mm only. It is given 50 mm axis length. Yes, it is 50 mm axis length. It is given resting on HV. We have drawn top view first. With one corner on, uh, with one of its land edge on HV. You see the land edge OA. Here you see OA is completely on XY line. So that is also satisfied. Axis is parallel to VP. Axis parallel to VP. Axis is basically a straight line. The straight line is parallel to VP. Its front view gives true length. The axis here, you know, it's a height of the object. This is the axis length. O dash B dash axis length. O dash D dash axis length. Here also the same axis length is obtained. So therefore, in this particular question, axis is parallel to VP as well.